Hello, Gemini. Welcome to Just Bird Tarot. Today is your Four Kings reading, and it is a playing card reading. And the question is, do they love me or not? So we're going to find out. Now, you can choose your king any old kind of way. It doesn't have to be the element. Um, it can be whichever king you are most drawn to in the deck. The jokers and the extra card, there's an extra man and woman in this deck, are pulled out. Um, and here are our kings. So if you are dealing with, if you are dealing with an air sign or you are drawn to the king of spades imagery or to pile one, two, three, or four, however, however you want to choose, you can choose. It makes no difference, dear Gemini. We have the King of Clubs. We have the King of Hearts. And we have the King of Diamonds. Let me know in the comments below who you chose. If you are, if you have like two people that you would like to ask about, choose two kings, three people, whatever it is, you know, maybe you have, maybe you're dating someone, maybe you have someone from the past, maybe you have a crush on somebody, maybe you secretly admire another, who knows, I don't know, let's see, I have no clue about your life, so you tell me who you choose and why, I mean, you don't have to tell me why, but I'd like it if you did, <laughs> um, so choose your king and I'm probably going to fast forward through this part during the video. You can always slow it down if you want to listen to the reading as I'm pulling the cards. You can always slow it down to, I would say 2.75, so like slow down by that much or whatever when you hear my natural voice, okay? And that's just for time because it's time consuming. I'm just literally going to be doing five rounds and my first round is I'm looking for the aces, right? And the ace all the way down to the queen. So aces, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Johnny and queen. That's the order. So I will fast forward through that part so that we can just get to the actual reading of whether they love you or not. All right? All right. Okay. All right. I believe my Johnny's here. Ooh, we have the ace. We have the deuce. We have the three. We do not. Two aces. Okay. Two aces. No dudes. Ace here. All right. Now we know this one is jump because the aces are out. We have a three. No dudes. All right. Round two. Sign of Gemini. Round two. Sign of Gemini. We have a three, we do. We have a four, we have a four, we have a five, we have a six, we have a seven, we have an eight, we have a nine, no ten. Okay. Do we have a deuce? We do. Do we have a three? We have a three, we have a four, we have a five, no five. Do we have a three? No three. All right, there's our ace. There's our two, there's our three, there's our four, there's our five, there's our six. Round three. We have a ten. Oh, no ten. Five, five, six, no seven. We have a three. We have a three. We have a four, no four. We have a seven, no eight. Round four. No four. No eight. Final round. 
Okay. If you chose the king of spades or heir or whatever, if you chose this king, king of spades, they have love for you, right? We've got the queen of love right here. <laughs> but let's just take a look at the relationship. Soulmates. You like to travel together. Um, you're very creative by nature. This person is creative by nature. And this is a person that could be grounded. Um, you know, they like to be outdoors. They are, you know, I don't know, an earthy kind of persona, like a down to earth type of person as well. They are working on their shadow. So sometimes they run with their shadow, but they're, they are surrounded by light. All right. Um, they are just enamored with you. And it's not they are your cheerleader they are your biggest cheerleader right this is uh, they are your biggest i i want to say champion right they champion for you um you are th their biggest cheerleader or they are your biggest cheerleader this is a person that wants to go to the distance with you and there's a whole lot of love here so yes this king loves his queen may like to wife her up and have children someday. Take it all with a green salt, folks. Let's see what the overall love energy is for the king of spades and his queen. If you are a male, I hope that you chose your king anyway. Look, relationship 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 sometimes people um may need to meditate and take a little time out this is a person that needs a little bit of like you know time alone in order to ground themselves and bring balance into their life but this could also be a past life relationship um that is very grounding for you and could be a long-term relationship 10 cups it's a emotionally fulfilling relationship all right if you chose the king of clubs let's see do they love you they think about it they think a lot about it let's see they need they think a lot about their faith as well and maybe the timing of this right so maybe the timing was off they too could be a past life connection but they are protecting themselves um they could be a little bit they could have been acting out and um being a bit foolish in their ways a little bit immature in their ways they may be coming to terms with that there's a little bit of love still here um and there's actual you know this person do they love you a little bit right is it enough well, they're coming to terms and realizing that. So there is a possibility. Let me see what the overall love energy is here. It's not a relationship. that It's kind of like somebody is questioning whether or not they should be in a relationship with you. That's what it feels like, you know, whether they should be in a relationship with you. yes so we have they pour into themselves to having these self-realizations and they what are they realizing that they would like to be in a partnership a coupling with you and the possibility of reconciling this within themselves so that you could come together and be you know a soul union so yes there is love here seems like this is the beginning phases where somebody's just not sure if the timing is right if they can you know if they can keep going on should they be doing this should they not should they get out while they still can um they're gonna stick and stay in this if you were questioning and that was for the king of clubs now the king of hearts if you chose the king of hearts well no 
They don't. They're a bit egotistical in their ways. They may have started this, but it fizzled out rather quickly. And it's due to they have an ego problem. Right? They just... Whatever. They have an ego. That doesn't wouldn't allow them to continue on. Now, if you chose the King of Diamonds... I'm not going to pull overall love energy there because there isn't love there. Um, king of Diamonds, we have the Chief of Earth. So if this was your king, let's just see. Oh, do they? Yeah. It, they, they, like, you make them feel, like, alive and childlike. Innocent, right? They, they have this feeling of innocence within them. And they have the foresight to know that there's, that they can take this into the longer term. They are family oriented individuals. They'd like to build a foundation with you. They have great desire for you. And however, there's uncertainty. I don't know how the uncertainty came. It's when they start building the foundation, they, they have great desire for you, but then uncertainty, uncertainty is here because of turmoil. Now, this could be an argument or something uh, that transpired and it just has them questioning whether or not they can move beyond this seven of hearts. Maybe they are, you know, looking at all of the potential of this relationship and weighing out their options, right? But they're not clear. They are uncertain at this time. But let's see what is the overall. Can we get a little bit further? There's love there. Or at least a genuine desire to, you know, cultivate love. So let's see. I don't know if they're uncertain because some other options are, or opportunities for love are presenting themselves. And they're just like, oh, I'm not sure if I want to continue on with this or, you know, like commit. But let's see what is the overall love energy. What king is it? The king of diamonds. Aw. Okay, so we have the new love. They're going to pour into themselves unconditional love for self. But then we have reconciliation because they do want to be in a partnership with you. So they, they are. They're going to, you know, give it another go. It just is that moment of uncertainty. Un they're just unclear at this time. But then they ultimately choose love. And they feel like you could be like a, you know, a soulmate. So that's what I have. Please let me know um, what kings you chose in the comments below. And please consider to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. Bye!